What's up Mopar fam, what's going on? Today on this episode, we're going to be diagnosing a check engine light on a Dodge Magnum with an OBD2 scanner. All right, let's get it. So Mopar homie had a check engine light, so he came over to use my OBD2 scanner to diagnose it. I know if you have an EVIC display option in your Dodge, you can check the codes through that, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. Okay, so first we need an OBD2 scanner. If you don't have one, call a friend that does or go out and get one yourself. But we'll discuss where to get one, how much it generally costs, and what I recommend to get at the end of the video. Today we're using the Innova 3100 with the ABS function. Awesome. Next, with our OBD2 scanner and the Mopar turned off, let's locate the OBD2 scanner connection port that is located underneath the driver's side panel below the steering wheel. Let's check it out and there it is. The OBD2 scanner should power up and await the signal from the Mopar computer. Next, put the key into the ignition, but don't turn on the car. After that, once the OBD2 scanner syncs with the computer, let's hit the link button and start scanning for codes. And let's wait for it, and bam! Here we go. We have a P0128 code. All right, before anything, next, let's go ahead and document the code so that we can look it up later. This OBD2 reader gives us a short description of what the issue is, which is kinda handy, but even the same codes on different vehicles may vary. So it's always a good idea to do some research on the code based on your own Mopar model. All right, so after that, let's go ahead and hit the erase button and hit enter to confirm the process. From this point on, we shall see how long it takes for the check engine light to come back on, and then, pay attention to the driving conditions in which the code throws back on. Now in some cases, they never come back. I have had a bunch of times where they don't come back, especially with codes pertaining to sensors, just throw a funky code on, but that's another subject. Now with the code scanned and the codes erased, simply cycle the key off and unplug the scanner. All right guys, now that we got the code, let's do a quick search on the P0128 code. Go ahead. And bam, it looks like it's a common issue on the Magnum, which is related to either a stuck open thermostat or the coolant temperature sensor. Now these items are relatively cheap, easy to access, and honestly, it's a pretty easy procedure. So it looks like we're gonna have another episode. <laughs> All right guys, so as mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you have the EVIC display option in your Mopar, there is a way to check codes on a Dodge Magnum by cycling the key three times in which the code would display in the dash. Now for other Dodges and more recent ones, it seems like they have done away with this trick. And that is why it's just way easier and more convenient to use an OBD2 scanner. Now moving forward, let's discuss where we could actually find these. We can find these at most auto parts shops. They range in price for $50 and up, now let's go ahead and check some out. So I recommend getting an OBD2 scanner that is not only recent, but is also able to read ABS codes. Let's take a look at another situation here where I was able to diagnose a Cadillac CTS ABS warning light. Here, I was able to identify which wheel had an issue and from there diagnose that the tone ring on the driver's side rear wheel bearing needed to be replaced. Now, if I didn't have an OBD2 reader with ABS capabilities, I wouldn't know which wheel bearing to replace. All right guys, so in closing, the OBD2 scanner is an invaluable super convenient tool to have. No more guessing and scheduling appointments with a dealer or shop to scan your codes. No more stress and wondering what's going on. And you can always lend a helping hand to a Mopar fam in need. What are y'all thoughts of having an OBD2 scanner? Do you feel like this is a necessary tool for you to have? Hit up the comments and drop your opinion below. You can also find the instructions for this video in the description as well. All right guys, thanks for watching everyone. Hit the like button if this helped you out. Hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I really appreciate it. Take care and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. What's up Mopar fam, it's your boy at Fred Easy. What's going on? Just wanted to give a quick shout out to my guy RTD2. What an amazing name, just like his amazing white challenger. Check him out on Instagram. Here you can find pictures of his sweet challenger. Also him vlogging. Awesome shots, awesome vlogs. And wait, oh, check it out, hold on. He's got a YouTube channel to check out as well. Here, here's a fun channel. It is not bad at all. It's got a vloggy feel to it. I like it. It's like you're actually there. Give him a like. Check out his videos. You got freaking burnouts. You got all sorts of vehicles. 
at two times Hellcat burnouts. Give him a subscribe on YouTube. He would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm tuning out. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.